Let's practice converting fractions, decimals, and percents together. For number one, we have this fraction of 3 tenths. So if we go ahead and just read that as it is, then we can just go ahead and write the decimal as 0.3. That would be the decimal. Now, if you weren't sure about that, you can take this 3 tenths just like this and then multiply top and bottom both by 10. If you go ahead and multiply both by 10, you can see that's going to be 30 over 100, and that's also equal to 0 0.30 or 30 hundredths, which is also 3 tenths. So if you wanted to do that, you could as well if you wanted to get it out of 100. Now, what if you wanna get this to be a percent? Go ahead and multiply that by 100. We're gonna go ahead and add a zero there, then that is going to be 30%. For number two, we have this fraction of three eighths. Now you may have this memorized and if you don't, that is okay. What we're gonna do is we are going to do some long division. So it's three divided by eight, goes in uh, zero times. We can add a zero here. Eight goes into 30 uh, three times, three times eight is 24. 30 minus 24 is going to be six. Let's go ahead and put that zero and add another one, bring it down. Uh, eight times seven is going to be 56. That's as close as we can get without going over. Remainder of four. Go ahead and add another zero and bring it down. Eight into 40, that's gonna be five times. Five times eight is 40, and we get a remainder here of zero. So our decimal here is going to be uh, 375 thousandths, okay? And if you wanna go ahead and write that as a percent, let's go ahead and just multiply that by 100, or slide that decimal twice to the right, and that'll be 37.5 percent. Next, we have this fraction of two fifths. Now this one's actually a pretty nice one. We can take this two fifths here, and we can get it out of 10. So we multiply by two and multiply by two top and bottom. Two times two is four, five times two is 10. So this is four tenths. So this is gonna be 0 0.4 because that's the same thing as four tenths, okay? Now that's the decimal. If you wanna turn this into a percent, let's just go ahead and multiply it by 100. If we do that, we have to add a zero here. So this is going to be 40%. For number four, we have this decimal of 0 0.45, but we can also read this as 45 hundredths. So we can go ahead and take this 0 0.45 or 45 hundredths and just write it as 45 hundredths, right? So as a fraction, that's gonna be what it is. We can also take this and realize that they have a common factor of five. So you can divide top and bottom by five. Uh, 45 divided by five is nine and 100 divided by five is 20. So we're gonna get a simplified fraction here of nine over 20 or nine twentieths. Now, what about for the percent? Well, just like before, we can multiply this by 100 and move that decimal twice to the right. That means that this percent per 100 is going to be 45%. For number five, let's see what we have here. For number five, looks like we have this uh, decimal of 0.8, but if we read this 0 0.8, we can also read this as 8 tenths. So literally it's gonna be eight over 10. And I think we can go ahead and simplify this by a factor of two, that's their GCF. So if we do that, we're gonna get four over five. So our simplified fraction here is gonna be four fifths. And if you wanna turn this into a percent, we can multiply it by 100. If we do that, we're gonna add a zero on and this will be 80%. For number six, going ahead and reading this, this is 0 0.96 or we can read this as 96 hundredths. So if we read that properly using the place values, then as a fraction, it's gonna be 96 over 100 or 96 hundredths. Uh, you can go ahead and find their GCF. It happens to be four. If we divide these both by four, it's gonna be 25 on bottom, and I believe this is 24 on top. So 24 out of 25 would be that most simplified fraction. To get this to a percent, let's multiply this by 100. So times that by 100. Move that decimal to the right two times, that's going to be 96%. For number seven, we have this 44%. So where is the decimal currently? Well, this decimal is currently at the end here after that four. If we want to make it a decimal, then let's go ahead and divide this by 100. So let's go ahead and move the decimal twice to the left. So we're gonna go ahead and say that this is going to be 0 0.44. But if we get and we read this properly, this is 44 hundredths, right? So 0 0.44 or 44 hundredths, that's going to be just 44 over 100 or 44 hundredths. If we divide uh, top and bottom both by four here, we're gonna get that the simplified fraction is going to be 11 over 25. So that's gonna be the most simplified version for this fraction. 
Let's see about number eight. For number eight, we have 8%. So that's pretty fitting, right? So 8%, let's think about this. 8% is really just eight over 100. Um, so we can think about that in just a moment, but I'll do the decimal first. So here's the decimal in the beginning. We wanna make it a decimal. Let's go ahead and divide it by 100, remove it twice to the left. So as a decimal, it's gonna be 0 0.08. Um, you can read that as eight hundredths though, right? So if this is eight hundredths, then as a fraction, we can write it as eight over 100. And then we can go ahead and divide this by four and four, which is their GCF. If we go ahead and do that, then we're gonna get a simplified fraction of two over 25. So that will be the most simplified fraction here. For number nine, we have 32% over here. So if you want to, we can actually go to a fraction first this time, just to kind of mix it up a little bit. So again, percent per 100. So we can take this 32 and divide it by 100 or put it on top of 100. Then uh, we can divide both of these by their GCF. It happens to be four. So 32 divided by four is eight and 100 divided by four is 25. So the fraction when it's most simplified is gonna be eight over 25. Now I'll do the decimal second here. So where's the decimal initially? It's after the two, all the way to the right. And let's go ahead and turn into a decimal by dividing it by 100 and moving to the left two times. So it's gonna be 0 0.32, which is also 32 hundredths, which is what we said earlier. Okay, last one on this page here. I'm gonna go ahead and do the decimal first. So I'm gonna find where the decimal is. It's at the end, of course, and you don't see it. And let's go ahead and divide this by 100 and move that decimal twice to the left. If we do that, then the decimal here is going to be 1.50. Uh, you can drop the zero though if you'd like to. And if you go ahead and read this decimal, uh, I'm gonna write this down as 1.5, but if you also read this properly, this is one and five tenths. So as a fraction, it's gonna be one and five tenths. So just write it as a mixed number. Then we can go ahead and divide this by five and divide this by five. If we do that, then we're gonna have one and a half, and that'll be our most simplified fraction. Let's check out number 11, where we're gonna have some more repeaters and some different types of fractions and decimals. So for number 11, we have 1 sixth. So uh, 1 sixth is really just gonna be one divided by six. So I'm gonna put one inside the house and six outside. Uh, six is not gonna fit into this one, so we're gonna have a zero here. Uh, six fits into 10 one time. One times six is six. 10 minus six is gonna be four. Let's add a zero and bring it down. Six into 40, I think six times six would be 36. Subtract, we have a remainder of four. So at this point, notice that we have a four and a four repeating. So it's gonna be sixes forever. So I'm just gonna write a few more sixes just so you can see the pattern here, okay? Now as a decimal, let's go over and write, this is gonna be 0 0.16, okay? With a six repeating over and over. And what about the percentage? Well, let's multiply this by 100 and slide the decimal twice to the right. So we're gonna write, this is gonna be 16.6 repeater percent. Make sure that repeater is on top of the six. Uh, and what is six repeater? Keep in mind six repeater is two thirds. So we should also write 16 and two thirds percent. So these two are equivalent to each other and we should write both options down. All right, for number 12, we have this decimal. Uh, I'm gonna actually take this decimal of 2.05. If we uh, just go ahead and multiply that by 100 right away, the percent's uh, pretty quick here. So it's gonna be 205%, okay? Now also, what happens if you read this decimal the correct way? So this is 2.05, but we can also read this as two and five hundredths because that five is in the hundredths place. So you can write five over 100. Let's go ahead and divide the top by five and divide the bottom by five because that's a common factor. And so that's gonna be equal to two and one over 20. So for our simplified fraction, we're gonna write two and one twentieths. All right, next, for number 13, we have this 2.5%, so we can have decimals inside of percents. Let's go ahead and make it a decimal first. So to do that, let's go ahead and divide it by 100. If we divide it by 100, then we're gonna move the decimal twice to the left. If we do that, we're gonna to have to add a zero and write 0 0.025, okay? Now, how do we read this decimal? Well, we read this as uh, 25, what place value is the five in? That's in the thousandths place. So that's gonna be 25 over 1,000, just like this. And then we can go ahead and see if we can simplify this. We can divide this by 25 and divide this by 25, top and bottom. If we do that, we should get one over 40. Okay, so the simplified fraction here is 1 40th. Now for 14, uh, we have a decimal here. I'm just gonna read it as 4 hundredths. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this. If this is 4 hundredths, then as a fraction, we'll write four over 100. And then simplifying this by the GCF, we can divide by four and divide by four. If we do that, we're gonna get one over 25. So 
I did the fraction first this time. Uh, for the percentage, let's just go ahead and multiply the decimal by 100 to make it a percent. If we do that, then it'll end up being 4%. Okay. For number 15, we have this fraction 7 elevenths. Uh, just a little heads up, whenever you're dealing with the elevenths, they will always be a two-digit repeater. So 7 divided by 11, put 7 inside the house, 11 outside. Uh, 11 won't fit into 7, so put a 0, and then put a decimal, decimal, add a 0 inside the house. 11 times 6 is going to be 66. Let's go ahead and subtract, see what we get here. So I'm going to move down a little bit. That remainder is going to be 4. Let's add a 0 inside the house, bring it down. 11 times 3 is going to be 33. And if we subtract here, we're going to end up with a 7, right? Now notice the 7 is what we started with. So at this point, it's going to keep on repeating over and over again. So we know that this is going to be 0.63 and then we're gonna have 6.3 and then 6.3 and it's gonna keep on repeating. So we know that we're gonna have this happen over and over and over again. So as a decimal, write 0 0.63 repeater. Make sure that bar is over both of these. And when you're writing the percentage, please be careful. We'll move this twice to the right, multiply by 100. So the percentage here is gonna be 63.63 .63 repeater percent, or we can write this as 63 and 7 elevenths percent, right? These are equivalent to each other. All right, for number 16, we have this 0.045%, which is very, very small. To get this to be a decimal, let's just start by moving this twice to the left. So essentially, we are dividing this by 100. If we do that, we're going to get a decimal of 0.0045. Now, if we go ahead and read this properly, 0.0045, that's going to be in the tenths, hundredths, thousands, and ten thousandths place. So I'm going to write this as 45 over 10,000. Okay. Now let's go ahead and simplify this. We can divide both by five, top and bottom. If we divide top and bottom by five, we're going to end up with nine over, I believe that's going to be 2,000. So this is going to be a pretty small fraction. All right. So it's going to be nine over 2,000. As for 17, we have 3 and 6 elevenths percent. This one's one of the trickier ones on here. Uh, let's go ahead and first deal with this uh, 6 elevenths that we see here. So let's take the 6 and let's divide it by the 11. Okay, I think this is going to be a repeater. As we've said earlier, all the elevenths are repeaters. So it goes in 0 times the 6, but what about into 60? We have 5 here. That's going to be 55. We have a remainder of 5. We can add a 0, bring it down. 11 times 4 is going to be 44. We're going to get a remainder here of 6. Now notice here that we have a 6 here and a 6 here. So this is going to repeat over and over again. So it's going to be a two-digit repeater of 5, 4, 5, 4, 5, 4, et cetera, et cetera. And so the 5, 4 is going to repeat. So we now know that 6 elevenths is exactly equal to 0 0.54 repeater. Okay. If that's true, then we can write this as 3.54 repeater percent okay now at this point we can turn this and into a decimal quite easily by just dividing it by 100 so we can slide it decimal over twice to the left if that's true we're gonna write 0 0.0354 now just the five and the four are going to repeat so make sure we keep that bar okay now, how are we going to get to the fraction? Well, the fraction, we can't really use this one over here, but we can use the fraction percentage. Okay, so let's go ahead and look at this three and six elevenths percent. Okay, let's go ahead and turn this into an improper fraction. So three times 11 is 33. 33 plus six is 39. So we have 39 over 11 percent. Now, remember, percent means per 100. So if we don't want to be a percentage, we should divide by 100. So that's dividing by 100, which is 100 over 1. And if you divide, remember that you can multiply by the reciprocal to help solve that. So we have 39 over 11 multiplied by 1 over 100. All right, so we're going to multiply by the reciprocal. We can't do any cross canceling. So 39 times 1 is 39. And 11 times 100 is just going to be 1100 or 1100. So this fraction over here is going to be 39 over 1100. Okay, that would be that fraction. So slightly trickier problem. Hopefully that made sense though. Okay, uh, for number 18, it looks like we have three and one eighths. 
So uh, let's go ahead and look at this fraction here. So we know it's gonna be three point something because we see that uh, three is the whole number. But what about the eighth? Well, uh, if you have it memorized, great. If not, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to find out what one eighth is as a decimal. Eight doesn't fit into one. So go ahead and put some decimals and add a zero. Eight goes into 10 once, one times eight is eight. 10 minus eight is two. We can add another zero, bring it down. 8 into 20, we can say twice, 2 times 8 is 16, we can subtract and get 4. And finally add one more zero because you're going to see that the eighths always have three decimal places, unless you're talking about 2 eighths and 4 eighths and 6 eighths, they only have two because they simplify down to fourths. So subtracting here we have a remainder of zero, so we have 3.125. Alrighty, now to turn this decimal into a percent, we can go ahead and multiply this decimal by 100. So let's slide that decimal twice to the right. If we do that then as a percent, this is going to be 312.5%. Okay, so that's gonna be the percentage here. And hopefully you can see that if we have a mixed number, this three kind of is consistent all the way across here. Okay, for number 19, we have 820%. Uh, I think the first thing I'm going to do is make this a decimal. So here's the decimals. Let's divide this by 100 and slide the decimal twice to the left. If we do that, then the decimal is going to be 8.20, but we really can just write 8.2 if we would like to. Okay. And then let's go ahead and see if we just read this the, the way it's written, this 8.2, we can also read this as 8 and 2 tenths. So that's going to be 8 as a whole number and then 2 tenths as a fraction, right? So we can then simplify this by dividing both by their common factor of two. If we do that, then we're gonna have eight and one fifth. So as a fraction, completely simplified, we're gonna write eight and one fifth. All right, that leaves us with number 20, our last one here, we have seven and five six. So whenever we have a mixed number, you can actually just keep this decimal of whole number of seven point something. And then if you don't know what five six is, we can just go ahead and do that long division, no worries. So we have five inside the house divided by six. So six won't fit into five, but we can put a decimal, decimal zero. Six times eight is going to be 48. That's as close as we can get without going over. We have a remainder of two. Let's go ahead and add a zero, bring it down. Six times three is going to be 18. We're gonna have a remainder of two. And at this point, hopefully you can notice that this two and two are just gonna kind of keep repeating over and over again. So I'm gonna stop here. And just this three is going to repeat. So it's going to be three, 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 so on and so forth. So we know we can put a bar on top of that three. So from now on, hopefully you can try to remember that five, six is just gonna be 0.83 repeater, but it's just the three that's going to repeat. Okay. Now, if you want to turn this into a percent, let's go ahead and multiply this decimal by 100. If we go ahead and do so, this is going to be 783.3 repeater percent. Don't forget those threes go on forever. And hopefully you can also remember that that three repeater is also going to be one third. So that's going to be 783 and one third percent. Okay. So each of these repeaters, it's good to know both versions. So there you have 20 different practice problems on converting some fractions to decimals to percents. There's some different strategies you can use. Hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, please consider giving it a thumbs up and sharing with a classmate or friend who might also find it helpful. And as always, keep it the great work that you're already doing, and I'll see you in the next one.